It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to Drink This or That Russell's Reserve Rye. Sarah, we have a six year H dated right here in yes. this rye. And then we have a single barrel non H dated. Both Russell's Reserve, obviously. Both Wild Turkey, obviously. Yeah. 90 proof. 104 proof. Oh, okay. So there's a difference. There is a difference. And also the price. Yeah. 40. 40 ish. 60 ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to go for a synchronize? Oh, we can try, but it never works out. Three, two, and then pull. you end up almost punching me, and it's never great. Okay, wait. Ready? Three, two, one. Pretty good. Mm, it, was a, it could have been better, but it, I won't. Yeah. Uh, the six year, and then the single barrel. Let's go uh, proof up. So start with 90. Okay. Six year. Well, that's maple syrup. Wow. It is a little mapley, but you definitely get the rye spice characteristics in there, which is, we should just say, uh, these are both 51% rye, 37% mm -hmm. corn, and whatever change is left over math. 12. Is 12 is malted barley. Barely legal rye, but you're definitely getting it on the nose. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It is a little mapley. Yeah, Wild Turkey has one rye mash bill, so this is the same as the Wild Turkey 101 rye, the 81 rye. If there's a master's keep that's a rye, like the cornerstone, like it's all the same rye mash bill. Different treatments. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna drink it. Ooh, yeah, it smells good though. Pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, pepper, clove, some berry coming in towards in the there. end. Almost, this is wild cranberry. Just because it's turkey, you don't have to pull out Thanksgiving. No, flavors. I've never said cranberry before. Mm. Like, not even necessarily cranberry sauce, which is sweeter, but just like a cranberry. I don't know. Huh. Or like craisins, you know? Craisins. Cranberry raisins. Okay. That are condensed little cranberries. A little bitterness mm. on the finish. I'll say that. But, you know, six years. This is in the same age range, actually the same age range, as one of our favorite ryes, which is Pikesville. Heaven Hill, 110 proof. Uh, about ten dollars more than this, mm. but that's not what we're comparing it to. We're comparing we're not. it to its bigger brother here. May maybe on on the future episode <laughs> of Drink This or That. Any excuse to drink Pikesville. Well, and it yeah. would make sense too. Yeah, because like the mash bill mm -hmm. as well. Fifty-one yeah. percent. Exactly. Barely legal rise. I love it. All right, one more sip, just so I can. I already know had for my sure. One. It's got a little mintiness in there, especially on the finish. Some spearmint. Yes. I like the, the spearmint on there. And it's a little um, a little evergreen, a little woodsy. Well, I like that about it. But up front, it's got, it's really delicate and soft at the beginning. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, now I'm really getting the mint. <clears throat> like almost like I just spit out a piece of gum. <laughs> very, yeah. very minty. Uh-huh, a little menthol even. All right, um, before we go to this one, let's give ourselves a 25 second break okay. for our palate to reset. What to do in 25 seconds. Mm. I know, I can tell you about whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet for our Glen Cairns, our water glasses, our rocks glasses, our t-shirts, our hoodies, our sweatshirts, and more always coming soon, whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash bourbonite and join our community. It's as little as one buck a month, but you get to choose. Uh, you get after the episode exclusives, patron only podcasts, first crack at merch, and maybe some barrel picks. I don't know, I'm working on it. Uh, and yeah, and more. That felt like 25 seconds. I don't know. I just took a guess. Was it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll have, maybe I put a timer up on the screen. People were probably like, it was too long, even <laughs> if it wasn't 25 seconds. Right. Okay, now we have moved on to the 110, nope, 104, see I'm thinking about Pikesville again, 104 proof, non age stated, but a single barrel, $60 Russell's Reserve Rye. Very similar. Very, yeah. Are you sure we poured different? Yes, I washed, <laughs> my, I was there. <laughs> you were there? I was there, I saw myself. And so were you. No, I think this does smell mm, a little richer though. It does, it does. The uh, single barrel smells a little richer, a little deeper. Yeah. A little more of the rye spice. Yeah, I'm getting more cutting pepper. through. It's um, less maple syrupy. Mm, agreed. That's a good way to sum it up. Ooh. I think the maple syrup is coming through in the lightness yeah. of. Yeah. Of the okay. Here. Oh wow. Hey. Ooh, that mouthfeel though. Oh, hello you. Yeah. 
Oh, oh I like. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> people will be like, it's just because the proof. No, I it's mean, it's not even that high. What, what oh four? You said you said it a few times. Fourteen points difference in proof. But man, I really think that that makes a difference. The richness. Yes. Now this is this is a you know a single barrel, so they are searching out barrels that have a certain the right stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, so they won't be exactly the same. But right. yeah, man, though that's. I mean, I'm still getting the minty, mm -hmm. but not as much. It doesn't feel like I just spit my toothpaste out or something. Like I kind of felt that way with this one. Like it was right. almost a little too minty with the soft sweetness at the beginning. It mm -hmm. was like, I feel like I'm chewing gum. Um, no, this one. Not that it's bad. It's just a little bit much. Just for that 14 points higher in proof, I am feeling more of a hug. Not a big surprise there, but the mouthfeel this just felt so much more viscous and, uh, you know, filling. You nailed it. Viscous. Because of the proof, the spice that is there feels more balanced. Like, in this one, I felt that I could identify pepper and clove really quickly. And it was pretty hefty. Yeah. It's still there here, but it's playing maybe on the same level with the the texture, um, the proof, the heat that it's bringing, the hug. And so all those things working together, it's like a nicer experience in mm -hmm. my opinion. I Yes, I can agree with that. One thing, since we've brought Pikesville up already. I, that I'm I, never gonna stop thinking about it. That, that I was like, anecdotally, until we do that episode, where I think we have to put this guy up against it, mm. is that the Pikesville to me tastes more like a high rye bourbon in this, both of these, tastes like a rye. Agreed. Like there's no mistaking this for a bourbon. Whereas Pikesville is just like, hey, was this like a 35%, you know? If you poured it for me blind, I would think it was a bourbon, but yeah. I would know that this is a rye. For sure. You know, strangely, as long as we've been doing this, I don't think I've ever had this before. Isn't and that, that that's wild? why we saved it for rye month, January of 2021. Don't it's know when you're watching month. this. It's, it's not dry month, it's rye month for us. Uh, that's why, yeah, we've had this sitting on the shelf for about six months. It's like, that's earmarked Yes. For, for this time. Also, what a perfect time to be drinking these ryes though, with yeah. that spice and the warmth and stuff. Like here in January, it's cold, it's rainy or snowy or sleeting. Or something it's crappy. And you just want to be warm and cuddled. And that's... And this... I mean, this, this does it too. This does it, it too. It does. But let's talk about it. $40. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think technically for us, this is about 37 on our on our shelf, but around 40, around 60, um, $20 difference, yes. 14 points in proof difference, mm -hmm. um, big difference in mouthfeel, Shh. hug, yeah. flavors, um, exceptionality. Mm -hmm. I, I, the drink this or that decision, will you vote first? Um, I will tell you, I would drink this. Yeah. You would also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If your concern is the price difference between these two, because 60 is, you know, not small bucks. Yeah. Um, instead of this, if we're wanting a rye and we're wanting wild turkey rye, I would either go with the 101 mm. rye, which hopefully you can find. Hard, harder, harder to harder, find, harder, but yeah. going to be in the sub $30 category. For a liter. Or... Also, not as easy to find, probably, the rare breed rye. At 40-ish, oh, right. also. It may be 45. Uh, yeah. No, it's up there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's more 45, 50, I believe. My bad. Yeah. Well, but still, yeah. I would still rather pay for that mm -hmm. and get the proof yeah. than this. Uh huh. Which I just feel like it's just not there, and it's because of the 90 proof. Yeah. Um. But no, I feel you. Uh, 90 proofers are, are hard. You're looking at, um, you know, baby Saz. You're looking mm -hmm. at. That's a hard competition. Ooh, that 90 area is tough off the cuff. Uh, What's Beam Rye? Uh, I think it might be 90. It's Woodford, Woodford, which is 90 rye. and a little change. Between these two, yeah, it's definitely it's this one. Easy. It's definitely worth the, uh, the extra 20 bucks. The flavor is there, and I do think this needs to go up now up against Pikesville, obviously. <laughs> I'll do it for science. But you know, Sarah, you mentioned this was, you know, we've been doing the channel five years this year. First time that we've had this. It's our anniversary. I completely think it's because this is a $60 bottle of rye. And for bourbon drinkers, you'll plop down 60 for a bottle of bourbon, no problem. But 
when it comes to rye, you know, it, it takes, I feel like, speaking personally, it's taken us longer to get into rye. It has, and I also think, you know, with new bourbons coming out all the time and we're trying to keep up and give you guys a decent, what we can do as far as representation of different categories with bourbon, with some rye complimenting and some blended or some finish complimenting that. It's just hard to keep up with any other category besides just straight up bourbon. I mean, yeah. we can't have all of the bourbon and all of the rye and all of the finished and all of the blended and everything. It's just like, it would be impossible right. to get them all. Mm -hmm. But this one, the fact that this has been around, this isn't new, it's been around. <laughs> yeah. And I haven't tried it. It always surprises me at this point in the game when I find something that's standard that I haven't tried. Why haven't I tried it? Yeah, from a big distillery, people uh, you know, have talked about this for a, a while. Yeah, but that's great. It just shows that we still, we, we still have a, like a ways to go in our journey and we are fine with that. Okay, well, very good. More of this series, uh, you know, coming soon. We're gonna just keep putting things up against each other. Drink this or that. We like it. We'll find out. There we go. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to this already, it's right up here. Suggestions of other videos, they're right down here. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more rye.